Hey guys, Sock here from Socky e Tech, and in today's video, we have some amazing news. Samsung One UI 6 beta program is now available, and you can, in fact, download it to become part. So in this video, let me quickly show you how to get it done. So basically, what you want to do is you want to grab your Samsung phone, and you want to go to Samsung Members Application. It should be pre-installed on your phone, but if it is not, you can go to the Play Store and download it. So once you grab your Samsung members application, you're going to be at this screen. On the top, you've got a bunch of banners. Swipe all the way until you see the One UI beta program, which is going to be at the end most likely. So it is this one. Tap on it. Now you can see that the only eligible smartphones are S23, 23 Plus, and S23 Ultra for now. The next step to enroll is tap on register. Okay, and tap on enroll. That's it. You can read the whole thing if you want. I'm not going to do that because I want the beta. So I'm going to tap on continue. And it says you have enrolled in One UI beta program. Now what you can do, the next step, within 10 minutes or so, or immediately, you are able to go to the settings, all the way down, software update, and tap on download and install. Now when you do that, the beta program should pop up. You can see mine did not pop up right away, so it might actually take 10 minutes. As I tried just after 20 seconds, it has started working. That is fantastic, okay? So it is downloading. Here's the One UI 6 beta. And let's take a look at the, the change log. You can see the size of this update is almost 3 gigabytes. One UI version 6.0 absolutely fantastic so under quick panel we have a new button layout we can instantly access the full quick panel by swiping in from the top we have quick access to the brightness controls improved album art display enhanced layout for notifications you can pause and read the details by the way but i'm just reading this because this is downloading slowly probably because other people are trying it as well. But we can now sort notifications by time. On the lock screen, we are able to reposition the clock anywhere on the screen with complete freedom, or at least with more freedom. On the home screen, we have simplified icon labels. They have removed the text Galaxy and Samsung from some apps to make those apps shorter and easier to scan with the eyes, okay? We are going to get a brand new font for multitasking. We have a small enhancement. You can keep the pop-out windows open as you navigate around your phone instead of them automatically minimizing. Uh, we have the Samsung keyboard, some new emojis, big deal. And then we have content sharing enhancements with extra sharing options, brand new weather widget, a little more information in the weather app without much changes, interactive map view, again, in the weather application, enhanced illustrations. Now with the camera, we have a custom camera widget, more alignment options for watermarks, quick access to resolution settings, easier video size options, also says, easier to keep your pictures level. It's going to be easier to scan documents with the camera. We can do optimization on the photos. Three levels of quality are going to be available for pictures you take. Maximum, minimum, or medium to get the best balance. Uh, auto FPS settings for videos. Gallery is going to get some enhancements as well. You can see I'm going to scroll through, pause and read. We're going to have some enhancements to the photo editor. Again, you can pause and read. We do have an enhanced layout. All these things I'm going to show you in a related video. But uh, here's the calendar right here. We've got the reminder enhancements, Samsung internet enhancements, smart select enhancements when it comes to extracting text from when you use smart select. And then some Bixby stuff, not a big deal. We're going to get some new conditions in modes and routines. Uh, smart suggestions, finder, my files. But that's what you want to do. Once the installation is complete, I am going to come back and make a video with all the new features. So stay tuned. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. Drop questions, comments down below.